Have you heard of Landis? Has anybody heard of Landis? Just you. Yeah, just <laughs> me. Okay. So basically, um, we work with realtors um, and their clients to help your clients achieve home ownership who couldn't get qualified today. So whether that's they were turned down by a lender, they are waiting on more provable income, they are a small business owner and took too many deductions for taxes last year. We actually come in as a cash backer. They pick out the house, they move in as a short-term renter, and then we coach them to home ownership. So we're gonna call them once or twice a month if it's credit, you know, what can we do to pull up their credit? And then um, a portion of their rent is saved to cover the down payment and closing costs for when they're ready to buy the house back from us. So that's kind of the, the condensed version all right, any questions so far? <laughs> well, what percentage move on to home ownership? Pardon? Like, is there a percentage of ones that actually move on to home ownership? Yes, 80, 83%. So a huge number, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I mean, we're working on a, we're rolling out a new sales deck with a lot more data, um, like, like those numbers. And, you know, the market has shifted in the past couple of months, so this is a slightly older presentation. But no matter what, you know, we want to be a resource to, you know, are rising interest rates deterring clients from purchasing? Are you going to have to start marketing to a whole new segment of potential buyers? Pretty much yes is the answer to that question. Um, it's not going to be just this windfall of buyers and you know the multiple offer situations anymore. The the market is stabilizing quite a bit, mm -hmm. and you know overall it's a good thing, but it still means that it's very difficult for first time home buyers. It just really is. Um, so you know you're passionate about finding you know clients a perfect home, cool. But we you know really want to kind of counteract that because there are 44 million renters in America. That's a ton of renters and I think we could all agree that you know home ownership versus renting is a very big difference <laughs> your financial wealth if you are a homeowner you're 40 times wealthier mm -hmm. and so it you know yeah, you have to start somewhere right like maybe the first house isn't your dream house but you're using that equity to maybe rent it out. And I mean, literally one of the first houses that we purchased for a family in Charlotte about two and a half years ago, she was coached into home ownership. She started with like a 560 credit score, had like $4,000 ready. Um, she picked out the home, we bought it for her. After a year, she was able to buy it back from us through our coaching and you know saving money. Um, and then she got a promotion shortly thereafter. So she took that house and rented it and then bought another house on her own. And so it's like, that's the American story, right? Um, and she wasn't really gonna be able to do that without the initial help from, from us, from Landis. Um, so we're huge into growing generational wealth and you know, really capturing home ownership. And that's why the coaching really sets us apart. And so that's our mission is to guide people on their unique path to home ownership. And I do really like it because each person's story is different. Each person's needs are different. Was it credit? Was it capital? You know, have you been taught home ownership? I mean, I wasn't taught home ownership. You know, I, I didn't, when I was leaving college, I, I didn't think of, um, of buying a house. Um, but I don't think if I had met my husband and he was so into it that, you know, we were, we'd do what we, you know, did long term. They don't really prepare us for that. Kind of stuff. They don't really prepare you for that, uh, you know. College, yeah. You pick certain electives. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a huge fundamental thing. It's like it's not a secret here. Why aren't we sharing this information on, you it's know? Like it's on your parents to teach you that. It is, it is. Unfortunately, I mean, and again, like my mom is still a renter, she, and yeah. I'm like, mom, come on, <laughs> like grow up here. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, can you please apply? Um, and so, you know, and and from that community effort, that's why. Uh, we're backed by Jay-Z Will Smith and actually just announced our Series B funding like two days ago, now backed by Google, Google Ventures. So oh. pretty cool. Yep. So we're, we're on the way up for sure. Um, I mentioned this kind of in the beginning, but who are our typical clients? Really anybody who is a, in a current rental situation who wants to be a homeowner. So yeah, you can say rent to own, I mean, but that yeah, that's a bad stigma in a lot of minds. Um, 
but it's anybody who's a current renter, uh, first time home buyers, you know, can we get offers accepted in FHA, VA? Again, it's a little bit old, but um, you know, we can kind of help them out by coming in as a cash offer. Uh, past bankruptcies, anybody who's been you know, discharged six or 12 months ago, we can help. Transient sort of income. I mean, we really can take a piece of paper that says that they have a job, like a full-time job waiting, or even part-time in part-time employment for six months. So lots of different kind of unique income provability. Self-employed, took too many deductions last year. You know, we can basically run off of a profit and loss, a PL, and say, okay, we think you know you could be coming at X, newly single, getting a divorce or even having an existing mortgage and don't want to do you know, a contingent offer to get house B, we can kind of basically say, all right, we'll take your DTI off of house A, come in and buy house B for you, and then until you sell that house, and you know, obviously you can buy the house back from us at, at any point in time. So we generally are going to be looking for people who are coachable within the next 12 to 24 months. But that doesn't mean you can't use this as a short-term solution or we will we'll kick somebody out of their house at the 24 month mark. As long as they're wanting to achieve home ownership and they're renting and they're paying their bills, then we are working with them in order to do so. What are the interest rates like? So we're coming in as cash. So that's what I'm saying. Interest rates are a, a non thing for us. And so if you think, okay, I have a first time home buyer right now um, who, who is maybe getting cut out of the market because of interest rates, it doesn't affect us really because they're able to you know, buy back at 18 months down the road. Now, I don't know what interest rates are going to do in 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, but you could basically play the market, play the long game on the interest rate, right? There's, because there's no buyback fee? So there is a buyback fee. So it's 4% above original appraised value. So if we buy a house for $200,000 today, basically within the next day or 12 months, they're buying it back at 208. Okay. So super fair, but... That is rolling into their mortgage at so that time. It would be considered like a, it, it would be like a kind of the six of one half a dozen on the other kind of deal. But the the interest rate, if you look at it that right, way, the math, the interest rate, well, the math yeah, is a lot just, lower than the interest rates are. I now. just asked that because but you're buying it back to it. You still have an interest rate. But you're still going to have an interest rate, but you can play it play it on the long game. Like it's you know if it's going to be seven point two five percent today. You know, and you can basically just say, all right, we're going to gear up for 12 months down the road. Yeah, it'll be 208 on that house, but we're predicting interest rates are then at 4.85 or whatever. I mean, so you know what I mean? So buyback, there's a fee and an interest rate when you buy it back. Well, so, so I mean, the, the client's thing. buying it back on a mortgage. Right. So, sure, there is, unless they're able to pay for uh, it in cash. cash yeah. yeah, which, you know, what we're... It's like they're just waiting so to get on a mortgage till later. On a cash Correct. deal, yeah. On a cash deal, there is no interest rate, obviously. Right. But then there's that buyback fee, but the buyback fee would be less than an interest rate. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you're, you're, it's them. like you're delaying. Yeah. It's like you're delaying their their mortgage loan. Hmm. So they're buy, So they're gonna buy. They're gonna buy the home cash. They're gonna rent, and then when you buy back, that's when you get your mortgage. Mm -hmm. At whatever. At, correct. At, at whatever rate is is at that moment. Got yep. It. Yep. Right. Right. Four yep. percent okay. higher price per year. <clears throat> right, but but with the buyback is four percent higher. Because um, okay. I. The other thing you have to consider too is, um, you know, the out-of-pocket acquisition costs because what we collect from a buyer is two to three percent, and so if it take that, you know, two hundred thousand dollar house. Uh, we're collecting $4,000-ish from them. All of that money is returned. That's what starts their down payment savings mm -hmm. bucket. But Landis comes in with the cash, right? We're going to pay the due diligence. We're going to pay the earnest. We're going to pay the inspection. We're going to pay the appraisal. So from a cash out standpoint, they're it's winning. they're winning. And if the inspection goes sour, you know, because I've worked with buyers back in my day <laughs> when I was in real estate, and they would say, you know, they would be like, I've saved $4,000 and this is, this is what we have worked for, you know, two years to save. Right, right. And you're like, oh, I'm going to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> well, with us, it is. And if the inspection goes, goes bad and like there's, you know, mold and, you know, bad foundations, um, we've paid for the inspection and the client's not penalized. And, and you know, we paid for the, so the due diligence. We've, and we paid the due diligence, and their, their money's not, and that money, that 2 to 3% isn't touched. So, ironically, I have a client who's got their house for sale, and they've put, they've, um, they've gone uh, under contract.
contract on a new house. So today, yes, or late last night, they want to put their take their um, home off the market and terminate the offer because they haven't had any, any activity on their house yet. It's only been on the market two weeks, but um, but the rates keep going up, and that's you know like as the rates keep going up, they feel like it's putting them out of their buying power. Sure. So could this be something that actually could help them? In theory, what I would say is um, check the calculator. So like if they were, there's a landis.com backslash like home pricing or home calculator. See what, you know, because it's fair market value rent that we're basically charging them. And so, yeah, it's delayed mortgage, you know, and they can kind of play the, the odds. But see what, what they would even be paying in their fair market value rent because I do, you know, just they're to be super transparent, price, really. right? They're, I mean, it's like a fair, it's like they're selling for what they're selling for what they're buying, right? It's, not it's that, just it's, the it's just the interest the rate. Out, but it's, so know, I would see, not, I would kind of see what would their mortgage look like versus what their rent with Landis would look like, and then go from there. In all honesty, because okay. you can plug it in and say, okay, I have a three hundred thousand dollar house. For a client that's approved in a 12-month program, this is the estimated rent. Here's how much we're going to help them for save, which we may or may not need to do in their circumstances. Because what's happening is, is we're, we're over the course of their 12 or 24 months of renting, a portion of that rent or monthly commitment is saved to that same 2 to 3% bucket so that after 12 months, the client doesn't have to come up with any more money to cover the down payment and the closing costs. It's about six so percent saved. All of the rent that they're paying doesn't go towards the house Not later. no. So it's yeah. fair market value rent, and then a portion basically above that. So it ends up being about twenty percent is saved into this extra down payment savings bucket. Do they have a time frame for which they have to purchase? Nope. Something? It could be three years? Could be three years. So we won't approve someone if we don't see a path to home ownership within 24 months. But again, that doesn't go to say if they needed three years, they couldn't have it. What if they fell off that path? It's a three percent exit fee. We're keeping the initial down payment deposit. Okay. Yeah. So it's not a fee, but we just keep what that they would lose their deposit, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, not, no, because, um, so say, you know, through their coaching, it's been 12 months and they're getting a job transfer to Texas. And so we've helped them save about five and a half percent. First, our team is going to say, okay, is there any way you can still buy this house? Because maybe the house would appraise in that 200 to 208 scenario for 228. So they would make money if they could buy the house and then sell it or hold it or do something. Um, so we're going to make sure they can't buy the house, but... You know, if we've saved to five and a half percent, they're getting two and a half percent back, minus three percent. So we're going to keep the three percent as the exit fee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, okay. Good brainstorm sesh there. Uh, oh, so this is kind of the we're all, we're all thinking about what our real, yeah, real, oh absolutely, absolutely. Real yeah yeah. yeah. Um, this is at a baseline like. Everybody's going to get a partner portal login. We're going to work on that shortly after this. Um, you're getting an email. You sign up you know, as an agent with us, um, and you click invite a client. A 550 or higher credit score. So you, you know, I don't know what lender you're using as your preferred lender right now, but like, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So hey, hey lender partner, send me your turndowns. Send me your people that can't qualify. Uh, let's put them through the system and let's give them a shot. Right now that I think would be perfect for Valley 3. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, it's, yeah. Um, I say $30,000 in income, but really 30 K equals about 130 K house. So it might need to be something where like each person is making closer to 30 so that it's coming in at like a 60 K in household income, because basically, you know, we're buying move in ready properties and 130 most likely doesn't cut it in a lot of instances. Now I've right. seen it. You know, this area is a little bit different than like Raleigh, for instance. It's like, you know, forget about it. Um, we do need to have that savings. That money is due to us at time of offer. So that's when the clients need to have it completely liquid. But during the approval process, we are going to make sure that they can, they have that money to put down as a deposit because I don't want to send you guys out over the weekend with these clients you know, ready to house shop when they don't actually have the ability to convert. I don't want to Absolutely. waste your time. I have a question. Yeah. 
liquid in the bank or liquid under the mattress? It's <laughs> a good question. So um, I believe if they have it liquid under the mattress, it would still need to be deposited and show the ending balance about 60 days. Okay. It okay. still okay. buys them time, okay. but they, have to get that in the bank. they have to get in the bank. And They're they going to have to put it in the bank for 60 okay. days. For 60 days. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's really, there's no way around it. Okay. Yep. But if they get that in the bank, and it's in there deposited in 60 days, it's not going to be, a, it's not going to be questioned. It's not going to be questioned. And so then basically they're approved for a 12 month plan. By then that money has been way seasoned. Perfect. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, roughly a 45% DTI. Now we, we do that, right? So we don't expect you to have to, you know, run some sort of facts and figures, but um, it's a free application with us and it's a soft pull on credit. So for really anybody, it's literally no harm, no foul. And even if they're waitlisted, so even if you know their DTI comes back at 63% or their credit score comes at a, a 482, um, we basically tell them, you know, hey, unfortunately, we didn't see a path to home ownership within the next two years, but pay this off, work on your credit, come back, reapply, right? So we're still giving them hope on a path to obtain home ownership. Uh, the benefits to you guys, you know, obviously you're able to, you know, help people get into a place that's going to work for them, not against them, but you know, you're making your money when we buy the house, right? So we come in with a 21 day cash offer that's super competitive right now. And you're going to get your commission, you know, in 21 days. So, you know, talk about a much shorter sales cycle if somebody's saying, oh, I'm gonna sign another lease or I'm gonna go rent to own or I'm gonna pull my house off the market. It's like, let's come up with a creative solution. And that's why, you know, our high graduation rate, we kind of mentioned before, we graduate 83% of the clients that we buy a house for. And that's because of our coaching and really the forced savings program. Um, you know, clients, it's full transparency. You know, there's no secrets. You know, they have an individual home advisor to guide them through the process. Everybody works for Landis. And then, you know, they have an internal credit coach that works for Landis, basically gearing them up to get an FHA loan on that particular property. I have another question. Yeah. Could this work for a second property or an investment property or does it have to be a primary? Okay. Primary only. Yeah. Okay. The intention would be that the clients would be living in that home. Even if they owned another home, mm -hmm. they could rent out that other house, but this would be the primary. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so we kind of mentioned it. You're going to send a client invite. It's a five minute application free. They're going to apply and get pre-approved. <clears throat> Yay. We're going to need some supporting documents, just like a lender would bank statements, tax returns, uh, pay stubs, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. We have a team that's going to help chase them down. Um, because that's a, you know, a <laughs> sticky part in the process. Uh, but we're going to give you guys a budget. And so after we look at all of that, we're going to say, okay, we think based on these clients current financial picture, you know, but, but based in 12 to 24 months from now, they could get a loan for $250,000 or whatever. Um, so we give you a budget and then you take them to go see houses. Um, I have some house criteria we'll talk about, but once the client pays that initial down payment deposit, you know, we're ready to put in an offer. Um, so they see one, two, three main street, love it. You send it to our, our team and we get you the offer details and we say, okay, it's a standard North Carolina contract. Here's, here's our terms, right? Uh, here's how much we're going to be willing to, to offer due diligence, all that you write it up. And then, you know, obviously we're going to sign it. Put down the down payment before we show them the houses. So yeah. they don't have to, it's due at time of offer. So when, if they go see houses, they better have that money ready. So they will have that money ready. Yes. Because That's we've made that. sure okay. that that is available. It's basically like the same thing about them having due diligence and earnest money in their, True. In their right. bank yeah. beforehand. That's, that's right. the same concept. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, so we will, and then hopefully, yay, we get under contract. We're going to, you know, do an inspection, do an appraisal or a BPO at that time, um, then close on the home. Uh, do they have any say so in, in like choosing inspectors or pests or anything? So any the if they, not really, uh, we put through the inspection through like our, it was pillar to post, but now I think it's a new process. 
um, to expedite it. And so we will share the inspection report gotcha. with you to talk to the client and they can make determinations. Hey, you know, I don't want to move forward on this house unless they fix right. this. Um, I'm just saying, you know, some people are, yeah. have certain people that they want to Because in theory, closing we become your client. You're buying the Right. 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 Our yeah, name yeah. is on the deed. Right. Sure. Do and so. Yeah, that's an absorbed <laughs> cost, basically. And that's where. So we really don't we don't make any money unless the client buys the house back from us. Really. Okay. I mean, your neck out. yep. And then if they don't, you know, with that three percent exit fee, we're going to contact you and be like, hey, unfortunately, the client was, you know, had to move to Texas. Um, you would sell the house for us, you know. So we don't hold the inventory. We, we put it back on the market and pay the local realtor. So we would list it for you? Yeah. That's cool. Yep. So we got paid when you bought it, and then if they can't purchase yep. it, we get paid to list it? Yep. I like that. Yep. <laughs> now it is a direct sale back to the client so when they do purchase the property from landis basically we're helping them figure out what loan officer to go to what loan program and then it's direct sale back but yes you make your commission the client moves in as a renter and you know everybody's happy basically so it's a yeah. It's a win-win-win for That's sure. Great. Uh, the types of homes, 110 to 500, move-in ready, no as-is, renovated slash built after 1978, but we make a lot of exceptions for that renovation. Yeah. I would say if the home is 100 years old, it doesn't matter when it was renovated because like a 1908 property renovated in 1982 is still probably going to be a no. <clears throat> Um, single family and townhomes, so no condos, no manufactured homes. We will do new construction. It does need to be basically within 90 days of completion. Um, and then really the biggest thing is check the zip codes because not all zip codes are where we operate. We are going to operate in more populated areas, more urban areas. And all of that is found on your partner portal, which again, you will have access to here shortly. Um, this is kind of a snapshot of what that tool looks like. Um, on the left-hand side, I wish it showed it expanded. That blue bar expands open and is gonna give you, you know, invite a client, marketing materials, where we operate, Landis University, bunch of information on how to work with us and how to market us. The most successful agents, I mean, we have an agent in Pennsylvania who actually reverse markets her listings that would fit in this criteria. Mm -hmm. And she comes up with, you know, hey, this is for, for sale, rent to own, right? And here's what you would need, a 550 credit score, $6,000 down, you know, estimated rent, $2,300 a month. So, and she closes like a deal a week. So there's lots of cool ideas yeah. on like getting, using Landis basically as a, um, you know, a, a, a place to get new clients to come in through. Um, and this is kind of what the mobile version looks like. Invite your clients. You've already, you know, you already showed me that's exactly what it looks like. Um, and their statuses. I do get a lot of calls from agents like, hey, I sent an invite and I don't know what happened, um, you know. Invited means that you put them in, but the client didn't actually apply. And then basically from there, they're in the stages of sending us documents or getting into you know, touring and final approval process. When you click invite a client, you're gonna get updates along the way as we update them, right? So you'll be informed. Um, there is, you know, we won't tell you some stuff um, I think we're long-term going to get to a point where it's like, hey, I have signed an exclusive buyer's agency agreement with this client and can share personal and confidential details. Check here and like, you know, give it a little more zipper. But, but what questions do you guys have? I mean, that's kind of it. I'm going to send you the link, so don't worry about scanning the QR code. Um, if you have time, take the Landis University certification. You get a little badge. You can put it on Facebook and say, hey, I'm now qualified to work with buyers starting with scores at 550.